Hello everyone, this is Miss Ashley at San Marcos Public Library. September is Mermaid Month in San Marcos, so this month for our puppet show, we're going under the sea, where three little fishies are searching for safe homes in the big wide ocean. Now if that story sounds a little familiar, it should, but don't worry, there's no big bad wolf in this story, but there might be a big bad shark. Those three little fishies better watch out. So let's watch the show and find out what makes a good home for a little fishy. I hope you enjoy the show. Once upon a time, there were three little fishies who were all sisters. As they grew, it came time for them to go out into the deep, wide ocean to find their way and make their homes. Before they swam off in different directions, the three little fishies talked together about what kind of homes they wanted. I want to live somewhere with plenty of food. I want to live somewhere beautiful. I want to live somewhere safe. Have you heard about the big bad shark? He swims around this part of the ocean, looking for little fishies to gobble up. He is strong, and he is fast, and he has rows and rows of huge, sharp teeth. We need to find good homes to hide and protect us from the big bad shark. So the three little fishies agreed to look for safe homes, and then they all swam off in different directions. When the first little fishy became tired of swimming, she stopped and looked around and wondered if she might be able to make a home with something nearby. Look at all these bits of seaweed lying around. Maybe I can make a home out of these. That would be great. Not only will I have a home, but any time I get hungry, I can have a little nibble of seaweed. So the little fishy set to work and made herself a little house entirely out of seaweed. The seaweed drifted in the current, but the little fish was able to swim inside. Oh, this seaweed looks delicious. Time for a little bite. Just then, the big bad shark swam into view. Did someone say time for a bite? Just what I was thinking. I'm starving. Hmm. I spy with my beady black eyes a little fishy. I see you hiding in that seaweed. Little fish, little fish, let me come in. Not by the scales of my finny fin fin. Then I'll munch and I'll crunch and I'll chomp your house in. And the big bad shark munched and he crunched and he tore the little seaweed house apart with his big sharp teeth. Chomp, 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 chomp. Nom, 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 nom. Fortunately, he was so busy chomping up the house that the little fish was able to swim quickly away. Eee! This seaweed isn't too bad. Nice and chewy. But where did the tasty little fishy inside go? Blistering barnacles. I think she got away. And the shark swam off in search of another snack. Meanwhile, not far away, the second little fish had also grown tired of looking for a home, and she stopped to rest. Look at all these shells on the ocean floor. Maybe I can make a home out of these. Wouldn't that be beautiful? So she picked out the shiniest and most beautiful shells and stacked and arranged them with great care until she had a little house made entirely of shells, just the right size for a little fish. It's perfect! How lovely! I think this is the prettiest house in the whole ocean. Just then, the big bad shark swam by, hungrier than ever. Losing that little fish snack made me mad and hungry. Seaweed really isn't very filling. Hey, what's that shiny thing over there? A house made of shells, with another little fishy snack inside. It's like somebody gift-wrapped it just for me. Little fish, little fish, let me come in. Not by the scales on my finny fin fin. Then I'll munch, and I'll crunch, and I'll chomp your house in. 
and the big bad shark munched and he crunched and he tore the little shell house apart with his big sharp teeth. Chomp, 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 chomp. It took a little longer, however, because the shells were hard and kept getting stuck in his teeth. The little fish had just enough time to swim away. Where? My beautiful house! Those shells are a bit rough on my old chompers. And all that work for nothing. There should have been a tasty little fish in one of those shells, but I can't find her. When am I going to get a little fishy snack around here? The shark swam hungrily away. At the same time, the third little fish, who had been diligently searching for a good safe home, came upon a beautiful coral reef. Look at this place. It's wonderful. So beautiful. So pleasant and nice. There's plenty to eat here. And look at all the places to hide. A shark could never find us in here. It's the perfect home. So she called her fish sisters on her shell phone. Girls, come see what I found. The other two fishies came swimming as fast as they could. Look at this place, sisters. It has everything we need. Oh, yes. Lots of yummy algae and other goodies to eat. Oh, it's so beautiful. Even prettier than my house of shells. And lots of places to hide from the big, bad shark. Plus, all that sharp, hard coral will keep us safe from his big, shark teeth. Let's make this our home together. Uh Uh-oh! Here comes the shark! The three little fishies hid in the coral reef. Along swam the big bad shark. I know there are little fishies hiding in there somewhere, but I can't see them. And that coral looks sharp and pointy. It might cut my big fins if I get too close. But maybe a little nibble. Ouch! Too hard! Too sharp! My poor teeth! I'm out of here. Maybe I'll just go find some more of that seaweed. <laughs> that shark bit off more than he could chew. There he goes. Come on out, girls. If he ever comes back, we'll just hide again, and he'll get another mouthful of coral. The three little fishies made their home in the coral reef, made friends with many other creatures who lived there, and lived happily ever after under the sea. <laughs> <laughs>